Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls 3 with myself, Hollow. Thank you very much for rejoining me today. And we will continue the series on Hollow, as always. But he has changed a little bit since last time. We had a little bit of discussion. Should I go down the dark path or the light path? Well, the thing is, in my Dark Souls career, I've always gone down the light path the first time. You know, I did it in Dark Souls 1. I did it in Dark Souls 2. There are many lore discussions to be had as to what really is the good and bad side. Scholar of the First Sin in Dark Souls 2 kind of proclaimed and put into the thought, basically, put the thought into our heads that maybe Gwyn was the bad guy for forcing this endless cycle of life and death. Or maybe that's just a bad way to think about it. I think it's really interesting. And I think there's two sides to every coin, as always. Being a dark type of guy, I guess, um, doesn't necessarily mean you're an evil type of guy. But, with this playthrough, we're going to be a dark wraith. But not exactly. We're not going to be a guy who is just killing people and taking their souls and all that. But I think it's good to choose a path. I think it's good to pick a side, at the very least, and follow it. And that way, in this original blind playthrough, we will see sides of stories we would otherwise not. We will follow the path of Yuria and see what it is she wants us to do, whether she's manipulating us or not, where that will lead us. You know, will that mean we kill the sorcerer? Could be. We're going to follow this path and we're going to see this side. This is not going to be the only Dark Souls thing I ever do on the channel. And ultimately, I want to see every side of this game. And I want to share that with you. So though we might pick the quote-unquote dark path this time, that doesn't mean we won't see the brighter side of things in the nearby future. There's plenty of potential and options, and I'm not limited to one thing. But for now, we chose the dark path. And we're using the Corvian Great Knife. Now, it is not infused with bleed yet, or poison or anything. My luck stat isn't particularly high, but that doesn't matter for now. Right now it is a plus four dagger, meaning I upgraded it with two large titanite shards, and we're going to start upgrading this weapon as our primary weapon for a while, see where that takes us. It's going to be a nice bit of variety for the playthrough, different playstyle, going back to the dagger core, using the bow, the fire bow. I'm excited about this build, and everyone else seems to be, so I'm really happy about it. I did just kill the slime, by the way. So let's continue now. We've done that big explanation. See what's going on with a sleeping giant. Okay! Well, there you go. He's not sleeping anymore. Jesus Christ, mate. Relax. It's not that big of a deal. I just want some souls! Ugh. Oh god, alright, so this is a big deal for you. You're not you're not proud of me. Oh, sword ring. Whoa! You you don't like me, it seems. What's the big idea, pal? You know, we're friends, right? You look a lot bigger than the giant friend I know. Exploding ball, that sounds interesting. Ugh. Christ, you've really got a preemptive roll those. Ah! See that? I preemptive rolled that, but it still hit me. Okay, 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 okay. Ah! Oh god, down here? Oh! Jesus Christ. Can't go up there. Alright, we're going down here. Whoa! <laughs> he doesn't like me. Maybe he doesn't want me to be a dark ref. <laughs> Whoa. That statue, sorry. That statue really reminds me of uh, Bloodborne. I think we've seen one of these earlier. It, uh, it looks like one of those monsters that has like a second person coming out of his back. So we got a ring there, and that's obviously very important. Lloyd's sword ring. Look at that. A really cool design. Ring given to the Knights of the Way of White. Ooh. Depicts all Father Lloyd's sword of law. Boosts attack power when HP is full. That's interesting. Much time has passed since the worship of Lloyd was common in the Way of White. The clerics of Kareem had always strongly asserted that Lloyd was a derivative fraud and that the All Father title was self-proclaimed. 
boost attacks when HP is full. Sounds very useful. You know, for a guy who is doing a dagger build and you want to build your damage as much as possible, lowering my equip load might be a good idea, but I'd have to level Vigor. I'm thinking maybe I could get Havel's Ring and then use that in combination to boost the damage of the dagger. Um, should be good. In case you don't know, we looked at Havel's Ring last time. Praise the revenge. Be wary of tough enemy. The giant's going to hit us when we go up here, isn't he? Um, yeah, Havel's Ring basically means you can carry heavier stuff and roll and faster. And generally, it means your equip low is not as bad uh, to deal with. Tough enemy ahead. Oh. Could hear it, but I'm worried more about the giant, to be honest. Whoa. Oh, God, that insane swing. It's fine. Okay, we got her. Thank God. Oh, messy. I tried to use the skill to dodge behind her and got hit multiple times because of it. Um, it is a dagger, so I was trying to use the quick dash. There is no quick dash. It, it is the shield guard. What I have with this. Forgot that. All right, so it's worth coming up here to get this item. Got to watch out for the giant, though. The ember, All right. Could wean some more information from this area if possible because of the Oh look up there. I bet you could get up there. Maybe. There's the giant. I guess I'm gonna have to fight him down there in that muck. Oh see those shadows there? What is going on there? Oh they're like leeches. Are they in the water or are they above the water? I can't tell. Maybe they're in the water. So you have some frowls patrolling around there, remember. There's a lot of enemies down in this section where the giant is. I reckon we'll have to deal with them before we fight the giant. But I must say, can you not... I want to go down the lat the grey. You make your mistakes, you move on. You get scared by a guy who's not meant to be there. Ooh. So what's with going on with this room down here? An item. Oh! Christ! On a bicycle! <laughs> oh, the daggers really do work against. Oh! Jesus! No! 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 Stop! What is happening? Oh my god! I don't know. Maybe my controller's acted a bit weird. I don't know. I did not tell him to roll that many times. He just kept rolling. That scared the absolute shit out of me. Oh, something's wrong with me today. Jesus Christ, I fucking nearly fell off the side, like, several times. Oh, how did I not see those guys? I saw that there, this disgusting slime, and then saw the guy on the roof, but they were all fucking above me and behind me. I never saw them. All right, whatever. We're good now. That's all that matters. Might have to use this pyromancy a little bit more than we are. You notice that these guys take way more hits actually kill. I think I'm going to have to get the uh, Havel's Ring, though, over that Pyromancy, the one that shoots the rocks. Seek Guidance. Because, at the end of the day, I need to do whatever I can to boost the damage and boost the potential of my character, and if getting Havel's Ring so that I can use Flynn's Ring at the same time will boost my damage and boost the power of my character, I'm going to need to, I think. Let's see if we can land on these candles to break the fall. Nope. It's alright. Let's have a look around here. Oh, hello. You're new. Alright. How are we going to deal with you and your shield? I say Pyromancer is going to be a good idea, but you're blocking them. Oh, look at that. He has a buff. You remind me of the uh, knights in front of Vaud back in uh, Lothric High Wall. You're probably going to hit me quite hard, aren't you? Ow. You know, this is a corner. Oh! What the fuck? Uh, roll, please! Roll, please! Roll, please! Woo! Woo! Ah, fuck you, shield bash. Ah! Okay. Okay. That wasn't good. I tried to get it. It did not happen. We're good, we're good. Oh! Oh, Jesus! So, once he buffs up, he's way more threatening, I guess. But you don't want to let him buff up. I should have gone for him at that point. I thought maybe I could stagger him with pyromancy. I guess you can't. God, there's so many fucking roots. So that's where the knight came from right here. 
So have a look here. Be wary or it'll happen to you too. What? What's going on in here? Hello? Ambush? Be wary or it'll happen to you too. <gasps> Jesus Christ! Oh! What the fuck? What is that? Oh! I, I, no, no, I'm not looking at it. I'm not looking at it. Oh! 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 Jesus! Ah! Fuck! Whoa. Fucking! You disgust me! Ah! Oh. oh, you look so weird! Oh! Jesus! Oh, God! Oh! You dead? Oh, what the fuck was that? That was known as a deep accursed. It has the ability to curse you on attacks and is, in its name, deeply cursed. And that has me thinking, how did this monster come to be? If it was once a person who was extremely cursed, how does that bode for me? My character is cursed. I am empowering that curse. Is the path I'm following going to lead to my character becoming one of these very extremely cursed monsters? I don't know, but it's an interesting theory. What do you think? Oh my god. Ha! <laughs> Fuck that! And it dropped this ring. A malformed ring by Aldrich, Saint of the Deep. Recovers focus points from critical attacks. Interesting. Aldrich, infamous for his appetite for flesh, apparently had the desire to share with others his joy of imbibing the final shudders of life while luxuriating in his victim's screams. That's pretty fucked up. Seems like a useful ring for certain characters though, especially like focus point relying uh, characters. I suppose that guy did have a shield, didn't he? And I didn't use the special attack of this uh, dagger. Gotta really learn to do that. Be wary or I'll happen to you too. Yeah, good tip. That scared the shit out of me. I just didn't want it to hit me, so I just started rolling like fucking crazy. Alright, well, we'll go back this way. Because we have the way into the main hall, and then we have this path up here. Where does this lead? Oh, we've got a chest. And another staircase. Be wary of chests. Don't worry, I always hit them. For fucking good reason! Ugh. Ugh, there's the grab attack. That's the one that kills you. All the other attacks are scary and all. The grab attack's the one you want to fucking avoid. <laughs> I love the kick! There's the grab. The sound they make. Creepy. Ugh, oh, stop it. Die forever. Oh, this whole area has got me cringing, dude. Ha <laughs> ha, you get the fucking helmet. Head of the aviarist creature that mimics treasure chests can be worn if one so wishes. Increases soul absorption from defeated enemies as well as item discovery, but the curse of the branded also drains HP. The very form of this creature is thought to be the form of a brand, a punishment for sin. I wonder what you had to do to be turned into this creepy ass chest. But it drains your HP, but it means more souls and better item drops while you're wearing it. But it, ooh, look at my HP. It really, really drains it. Oh, there's another item here. Deep Braille Divine Tome. A Braille Divine Tome of the Deep belonging to the deacons of the cathedral. Give this to a storyteller to learn miracles of the deep. Intended to teach divine protection to the deacons of the deep, but later dark tales were added to its pages, such that it is now considered a thing profane. So it's another sort of dark, bad, I guess, um thing to have the failed firekeeper tell us look at this so that's where we would have gone we jumped down here instead got it um it's sort of a bad thing to have her tell us isn't it she's probably not going to be happy to read those out and it's going to remind her of the abyss and shit like that so it's going to fuck with her we're going to definitely do it to progress the story and being that we're sort of a dark wraith we're not the nicest of guys you know we're focuses to improve our own lives and not the others not the lives of others so not really our concern i guess oh god that was close not on this character and so we're gonna yeah that's like the way i want to explain it i'm i'm doing this sort of like 
character to give myself an excuse to sort of like reaffirm to myself. I need to. Oh god. Get out of here. To reaffirm to myself that I'm gonna be, you know, doing terrible things on this character. And it's better that I just accept that and go with it so that I can progress certain stories that I otherwise wouldn't. You know, I'm normally a guy who likes to do the good thing. You know, go down the good path or whatever. And uh, that means I don't always get to see all of the potential of these stories and all sides of them. So I'm just going to roll with it. Speaking of rolling with it, here comes a roll! Ow! Now! There we go. Alright, so your shield uh, says no to my attacks. Nice. And I didn't hit. Interesting. So those are going to blow up, remember, so we avoid them. There you go. Learning! There you go. Now give me it. There we go. It is possible. I was thinking about using the um, side stab to get around shields, but I thought I'd just finish him with that. Oh, Christ, there's another one. With a lot of items around him, and there's some oozes in there. I can see them. Hello. Ooh. Is that a bridge? I mean, I can wall off the giant and keep him in there like that. Oh! So those statues are traps then. Great. Disgusting. We can wall him off in here so he can't walk out. Oh, bear in mind we did see shadows in the water from above here. So I don't know that I'm alone in here with the giant. Which, you know, doesn't fucking make me very happy to think about. Alright, pal, come over here where the door is, yeah? Oh my god. Holy shit. He's upset. Oh, that was rude. You're going to knock me through there and then leave. Don't be a bitch about it. It does hurt him. Just doesn't seem to do much to him. I feel like this is a really bad idea. That did not hit me, but it did. Maybe I got shot by one of those arrows. Could have been. Okay. So just avoid his attacks best as we can while in slow motion. He seems to be swinging in front of him a lot. I reckon the scary thing's not to get stood on. Basically. And then the rest isn't so bad. Hey, look at that. Nowhere near me, mate. I'm getting shot by these arrows every now and then, and it's actually quite scary. Because it, it might happen at the wrong time. And I'll die. I don't feel good about killing a giant. Oh, there we go. Don't feel good about killing a giant. But it's not like I had much choice. He's a big fucker, that one. Yeah, well, you're a Alright, what was our reward? I got shot in the foot. Ah! Yeah, get you fucked. fucking what are you guy. Do up here? You about to say I got shot in the fucking face. I'm invincible. I got worse Eat than that my now. Arrows, you Fuck you! Ah, yeah, get fucked. I regret nothing. Right, it's a good thing to kill them first before you fight the giant, I reckon. Because that nearly got me killed a couple times. Alright, what do we get for all of that? The maiden hood, robe, gloves, and skirt. Didn't we already get those? No, no, it was the antiquated set. So that's like a priest set, is what I just got there. Whereas the antiquated is probably dusk set. Oh, large sign that shard from him and four fucking dung pies. Great. I really, I always wanted to pick up a giant shit, you know? Dried fecal waste material moist on the inside. Throw at the enemy to inflict toxin buildup, but also up your own toxicity. Though the stench makes it difficult to carry on one's person, inflicting toxins on an enemy yields high damage over time. Perhaps some are dead have fond memories of waste, or perhaps not. Yeah, undead probably don't poop anymore, do they? Now we can open this up, but don't forget, there's all that stuff on the other side with the other giant. I want to have a look what's in here. Oh god, you know what? This doesn't... This doesn't look like something I can return from. Uh, let's check the other side first, yeah? Maybe? So while I was heading over here, 
I was using the dual fire daggers. And I noticed that these guys are really weak to fire. So this is a, a really good use of the weapon. I do like the fact that I have this like backup pair of daggers to use that are fire imbued for when I face enemies who are weak to fire. It's extremely useful utility. And a utility I should probably make more use of. Anyway. Let's deal with these guys. Oh god. Don't do it. Don't, be, don't play me like that. I, I uh, pressed the wrong button. Oh, uh, what is that thing coming over here? I really don't want to deal with whatever the fuck that is right now. You know, I'm busy. The fuck do you want? Please go away. Oh, fuck. Uh. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Let me move. Just, just, God. God, let me move. Oh, thank you so much. That's actually perfect. Whatever the fuck that thing was, I don't ever want to know. I just want to kill this fucking giant and be done with it. I've been here for a while. And he's finally dead. Holy shit. Oh my god. I killed like at least 10 things in this area and the giant at the same time. We got the Drang Gauntlets. That reminds me of like the Drang Lake set. Alright, so we got some more shards. Awesome. Got to upgrade the Corvian Dagger a little bit. Drang Armor. It reminds me of the Drang Lake set, just because of the name. Pale Tongue. Useful for me. Should we go get that perfect red eye orb already? Drang Shoes. I guess this is just a full Drang set here, then. We have this over here as well. Drang Hammers. Ooh. Armor of the Drang Knights proclaim descendants from the land known from legend for of linking the fire. Fine protection that is both light and strong, having been reforced with rare guy steel. The Drang Knights were once feared cell swords until treason meant descending into the abyss and they were separated forever. Wow. They had to go to the abyss. Pretty cool looking set. I like the cape. It's got this like nice feel to it. Maybe it suits the set. Yeah, wow, look at this. I actually quite like it. it. Has this cool feel about it. We're gonna roll like this for a little while then. Get a dagger back. So this is where that weird slug thing that fucking disgusted me came from. Came from up here. Oh, hello. Look at that sword. That looks cool. Oh, it's one of those knights. The ones that can enchant and use magic of some kind. Don't forget these sorcerers as well. Oh, Christ. Oh, there's a lot of people here. Fuck. I don't have many heals left. Am I pushing my luck? Am I going in the wrong direction? It's hard to tell. He's awoke, but he doesn't notice me specifically. That's fine. All right, we're going to try and uh, land some shots on this one. Maybe actually kill him. One more. Don't move so much, goddammit. And that one's aggro as well. As long as we can kill these without fighting the rest, that'll be perfect. And we want to fight one of these, not two of these, at the same time. Headshots are going to be really good. Don't buff up. Okay. Right. There. So backstab's very powerful. Ah, look at that. He's buffed up, so he's taking way less damage. That's problematic. We can get through that shield, though. And we did some great damage. Okay. 20k souls in the bank here. You know, we, we don't want to lose those. Ah, Cathedral Knight. Perfect. I want to learn about them. Massive Iron Helm worn by knights serving the Cathedral of the Deep. Repulsive creatures of the Deep are sure to attract the foolish, but the Cathedral Knights are prepared to meet such intruders head-on with more than their ample might. Alright. Yeah, they are very strong, but... This is the real threat, in my opinion. This is the guy I don't want to get hit by, and I'm going to range down as fast as possible. The headshots are going to be crucial, because they're going to stagger him. Okay, there we go. So you're the one I'm just going to bow down, I think. Oh, God. Eh, they didn't do too much damage. Not as much as I thought. Maybe it was just a quick swing. It was, wasn't it? It wasn't a proper swing. But look how cool he looks with all those arrows in him. 
Okay, that made that guy uh, not as threatening. Headshotting them to stagger them, giving me more time to land more hits. And then not really having a fair fight is sort of the way I went about doing that. It worked like a charm. And these guys don't die too slow. I like it. I'm really enjoying using the dagger so far. And bear in mind, we don't have the buff yet. What we got for all that effort. An ember. Great. But there's more going on here, isn't there? They're like praying to this thing. Headshot. Up, oh, it fell. A little bit higher. There we go. Fucking coming down the stairs. Nice, sidestepping me. He's out playing the shit. Oh, look, look at these jukes. Fucking guy. Yeah, you didn't juke that one. <laughs> I need to get better at, like, my awareness of uh, the distance and the fall-offs. Whatever. It did the job. Now for you. I love that uh, you get more critical damage with daggers. One of my favorite things about them. One of the things that makes them viable. It's very noticeable. And if you can manipulate it and do lots of parrying or, you know, backstabs, you get the uh, value of the increased damage. We open that. Looks like we might be able to walk across it. We have this area down here that we've not been to, which honestly doesn't look like there's anything going on. But it does seem a bit weird to me. Aha! I was going to say, it does seem a bit too weird to me that FromSoft would put something in the game that's irrelevant. And it most definitely isn't. There's a lever there. So that could be something I should go and pull before progressing in this direction. Ah, look at that. Fog wall. Then what's on the other side of the hallway? I think that's probably a boss fight. Because it's behind this big throne looking thing. It's not quite a throne. It's like laid out as if it's a throne but it's like an altar or something and something's covered by a cloak very obviously you know they don't want you to see what's behind the cloak so i'd love to learn about that for now though let's uh pull this lever i suppose and then head back the other way and open that door that i was reluctant to open beforehand all right what do you do Ooh, scares me it's like i'm locking myself in when it happens you can walk straight through it though yeah, I think those are bridges, maybe. I mean, they could just be set up to help you fight the giants, but they don't seem to want to fight or, or sort of interact at all with them. It would shock me to get against the boss so quickly, I suppose. Aha! So this leads outside, and I should have opened it. In fact, no, I should have known. There was a big door that only opens from one side, right? But this is a new area. Ooh, Saint Bident. A silver Bident decorated by a holy symbol formerly wielded by Saint Klimt. He discarded this weapon that draws upon one faith on the day that he put down his own faith and left it behind him. And it has the charge because it's a spear. It looks very nice. I love the like silver feel to it. I bet you could get a really nice knight set going with this. And then the charge. It's pretty good. I think it's a solid looking weapon and a nice spear. And we got some homeward bones. So nothing really going on there. We have the broken bridge from this angle. There's where the drake is. Lothric up there. Undead settlement over there. And that's where the giant archer is. I wonder if he doesn't like us now we killed some of his brethren. And I do want to go back to him and talk to him. Because we did say, you know, now he's facing the other way. Maybe he has more dialogue. Just maybe. We're going to get Havel's ring while we're back here. Now. Which will then allow us to have a much higher equip load. Then using Flynn's ring, which will increase my damage per the lighter equip load. I'll see some increase of damage from that. On the way back now, we've not taken a single bit of damage, which is awesome. But uh, this disgusting thing fell here at the second giant. And I looked up and look at that up there. What is going on there? I'm glad I came this way and had a second look. There's another one of those slug creatures seemingly impaled up there by something. And its blood is dripping down the side. And it's like covered that entire wall. And it's much worse there. There's another one there. You see that? Who has killed them and why? There's obviously a faction that doesn't like those slug things. But it looks like I need to get up there somehow. And you know what? 
looking at those uh, sort of bridges I raised, maybe that's the way you do it. I also just noticed there's an elevator right here that I somehow missed. Good thing I didn't the second time, I guess. Where does this go? I pray it takes me back to the bonfire. I mean, it's not too far. I can handle it. I've healed once, getting back to where we are now. But, you know, I'd appreciate not having to fucking go so far. But we just went up. We're now above where I thought those were bridges. Meaning we're on the same level as where that blood is. There, right there. On the other side. And there's like a broken door there. Do you see that? Something's going on up here. There seems to be like two sort of different levels to this place. And they're very different to each other. Like all, all this shit on the ground here. Bear in mind the thing that we're fighting. This Lord of Cinder. He's like made of disgusting ooze, right? Is this the door that we could only open from one side? It is. This is the main entrance. How does that link us up to the nearest bonfire? We probably have to run through the hall of the graveyard. That's quite far. Still a very useful thing to have opened and I'm sure is is useful to have. I just can't work out how that's going to be faster, to be honest. Anyway, let's keep going. Good that we can uh, get through the main entrance now. There's the things that we're lifting. Still don't really know the point of them. So there's probably more enemies going on over here. An item here. I'm looking at the ceilings as much as possible because we've had so many drop downs. Hidden path ahead. Yeah, look at that. That's another one you can raise. There's the third one you can raise, which will allow you to get to the other side. But we need to find the third lever. I may have walked past it. Oh god, look. I can see there. There's one of those disgusting slug men. Maybe if he runs in a certain way, he'll tell us where we need to go. Hello. You are disgusting. And he shot some sort of magic at me. Whoa. That's like the spear we picked up. Maybe that guy that used to use that spear, abandoned his faith, has turned into one of those? Just had a quite extensive look around and I couldn't, for the life of me, spot. I couldn't spot a lever anywhere. So I'm assuming, unfortunately, uh, maybe you need to unlock that later. Who's this? Seraphs? Sirius of the Sunless Realms. I think that is... Oh, you know what? I, th that is an NPC, isn't it? That's the moon woman that showed up with her S-Doc. And, uh, yeah, she says that she'd help me. Well, I could accept her help, but, you know, she's a good person and all. And I know that many people would cringe if I summoned someone to help me do a boss fight. Deacons of the Deep. Okay. That one's a fat one, and he seems to have a lot more health than everyone else. Let's just not fight him. Oof. Jesus, look at them. So many of you bastards. Fuck you. Why is there so many? Alright. Pyromancy could be good here. Oh, look at this. Did they start losing health when you actually kill some? Oh my god, this is pretty cool. You're like fight fighting all of the people of this uh, cathedral. Like the priests. I really don't want to hit the big fat ones. I want to hit the mass of them. Roll. Ooh. Alright, that's all of my uh, pyromancy. Alright, fuck you. This big one's sort of bullying me a little bit. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. We probably lowered them enough. Oh, look at that. They're reviving. Shit. That's why they're getting behind me. There's no reason to be doing what I'm doing then. That's a shame. Where's the red one? There he is. I guess he's the real boss. Weird. Oh, look at that. It transferred. It transferred. Did the red, like, orb. It's no longer on... It's no longer on the one that I killed. The big red ones are the problems. Because they take up the most hits. There we go. Look at that. Oh, we did some good damage. You have to hit the red orb itself. You're not hitting the people. You're hitting the red orb. So now, I guess. I'm going to transfer over here. They don't do that much damage so far, which is nice. Okay, we're getting get there now. Do some good damage. Oh, this is a unique boss fight. I mean, it's not the most threatening, I'll be honest. It's not the most, like, 
epic. But I have to admit, there's something nice and simple about it. Speaking of which, uh, it transferred all the way over here. I see you, motherfucker. I'm pretty sure something's going to happen, though, right? This can't be the whole fight. Yeah. Hello. Oh, look at that one. Oh, these ones are special. Jesus, that one tried to grab me. Speaking of the fat ones that are problematic, we're, like, surrounded by them now. Yeah, get fucked. Ah! Look at how many there are. And they're casting a lot more now. Okay. We just have to get through this wall of them. Now. Whoa! Whew. They're doing something. Uh, what's happening up there? Looks like a spell that's like generating above them. And I'm trying to use these pillars as like a defensive thing. Nothing came out, though. So what was the point of that? Get in there. Now we're all away. Don't get cocky. There you go. Ow! They don't do that much damage. But I just don't want to get caught out by, like, a bunch of spells at once. And don't want to get surrounded like that either. Oh, they're, like, getting bigger now. Look at this. What's going on? Don't fucking heal up. Is that what you're doing? Are you fucking healing? Oh crap. Something actually hit me for some real damage there. The longer the fight goes on, I think the more deadly it is. Go. We did some good damage. Got knocked away, but we did some good damage. There you go. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, we nearly got him. And now, got him! Oh, small doll and the soul of the deacons of the deep. And there's a new bonfire. You know what? I probably didn't need to go back and get all my flasks. I could have done it with two. And an ember. Holy shit. Hey, look at this room. And what even is this thing in the middle that was fighting around? It's just a big square. It's got people on it. Are these like statues of the deacons, the mage sort of cathedral faith people we just fought. We've got the small doll, a small silver work doll depicting a young squire. In the legendary old city of Arithal, situated in the Boreal Valley, the Pontiff Sullivan gave this doll to valued subjects so that they might use it to cross the barrier when they return home. Listen carefully and you can hear it say, Wherever you go, the moon still sets in Arithal. Wherever you may be, Arithal is your home. Seems like I need that to get to this Boreal Valley. Look at that blue soul. After Aldrich left for the Burial Valley, Archdeacon Royce remained in the cathedral with the high priest to keep the eternal watch over their master's coffin. So this big thing in the middle here is the coffin. This is where he revived. This is where it was in the cinematic, where they ca he came out of his coffin. And he left his loyal followers to defend it and make sure no one fuck with it. Well, so much good that did. We killed the guy who we left to defend it and his loyal followers. They're gone now. But that does mean Mr. Aldrich has moved himself to the Burial Valley. And we're going to need to use that doll to get to it. Oh, the Archdeacon set. It looks strangely kingly. I mean, obviously, they've, it's got the hat that's like a pope or something like that. But I don't know. It reminds me... I mean, just the cloak itself... You could do like a pretty cool royal set there, like a prince or something. If you took off that helm, maybe found a crown, um, maybe not the dress, but I don't know. I like the robe. It looks cool, but you can compare it to the normal deacon one, which is obviously very fancy still, but nowhere near as like regal. Holy garb worn by the archdeacon of the Cathedral of the Deep, a sign of the Way of White's highest rank. Of the three Archdeacons of the Deep, one stood over Aldrich's casket with hope that he would return one day. So there's three of them overall, and we just fought one. There's two more out there somewhere, and only one of them remained here, and we just defeated him. So there's that to take away from that.
But this is the way of the white faction. What's so interesting about that fact is that the way of the white was actually a faction and a covenant in Dark Souls 1. It was the undead faith that was ultimately bullshit and just designed to send all of these undead to the catacombs to kill them and get rid of them. That's where all the skeletons were, and that's where um, Nito the Grave Lord actually resides. Interesting that that faction still exists, and it's now become a big thing to do with this cathedral, and it's obviously evolved into something much more than that now. So I don't really know where to use that doll, really. We do have that area behind Farron Keep with the skeletons. I guess that's where we're going to have to head next. That's my only guess, really. But we need to find the way to actually get to this new area. But finally, don't forget we found that tome that has some more dark magic inside of it. And it's most definitely going to fuck with her. But we're not a good guy. Not anymore. You're not going to like this. I'm not either, but this is the path we chose. What's this? Champion of Ash, this divine tome is forbidden. These are dark tales of things that lurk deep within men. These stories would not please Interesting, me. she says the same lines. Of course, if you insist, I will read them for you. Only... Oh, oh. They frighten me so. The little creatures that nibble at me in the darkness. Yeah. I feel bad about it. So we got deep protection now. Miracle taught to in all grenaded deacons of the Cathedral of the Deep. Slightly boost attack, damage absorption, and resistance. While also increasing stamina recovery speed. Interesting. That's quite bad, but probably very good for a spellcaster. The Deep was originally a peaceful and sacred place, but became the final rest for many abhorrent things. This tale of Deep offers protection for those who worship amidst these horrors. With that giant disgusting spider thing... The main boss of this area, he's like a big slime abyss thing, who knows. Yeah, they're not the best faction right now. And Gnaw, a dark miracle tour in the Cathedral of the Deep. Summon insect swarm to feast on your foes. These insects which lurk in the deep have tiny jaws lined with fangs to tear open the skin and burrow into the flesh in the blink of an eye, causing intense bleeding. That actually sounds what she's like. she's described as this like abyss like nibbling at her that was what she described could that be what she's afflicted with Ooh, hello now i recall you saying you would show up at the cathedral of the deep I said you might need help or i might need help choose to help each other maybe you are the woman that was supposed to marry and have as a queen according to my dark advisor um, are you into skull faces? You into that? Oh, and we meet again. We spoke before on the road of sacrifices. Andre of Astora. I'm well pleased to see you safe. We reached the Cathedral of the Deep, but Aldrich's coffin was empty. The man eater must have left for his true home. The little doll in the empty coffin told me. Aldrich is said to hail from Irithyll in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond... Aha! And so becomes our destination. So it is. We have to go through that skeletal area. That's what we unlocked. That is where we go. And interesting to learn that the original location of this character, of this Lord of Cinder, was indeed the Boreal Valley, an ice knight. But he turned into this abyssal sludge. How did that happen? Aldrich's honest home is Irithyll in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farren Keep, and so becomes our destination. Yep. Yeah. I'll save you and then you'll totes my goats marry me, right? Ugh. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, you know, you know. Guys, thank you very much for watching today's episode. I do hope you enjoyed it. I thoroughly did. 
Made some progress through that area. Bear in mind, we do have that upper level that we've not been able to get to yet that I'd like to unlock. There's obviously something going on there with that blood wall and the slugs that are up there. Uh, I want to learn about that for sure, but I don't think we can get there just yet. Maybe in the future, though, maybe. Otherwise, we will head to the Burial Valley next time, heading through those catacombs, and I believe we'll be facing many skeletal men, just like myself, in the nearby future. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, guys.